but it's not what most think when they consider CPR. This is training without mouth-to-mouth, -mouth, hands only. And trainers with the American Heart Association say that if they can teach this new technique, maybe more people will realize they can save lives to teach as many people as I could CPR. Jamie Fitzpatrick is dedicated to helping as many people as she can learn CPR. You never know whose life you're gonna save. Because she knows it's the reason her son Cody is alive today. My mom taught me how to give CPR because after I drowned we went around to different schools and like Boy Scouts and communities and just taught CPR. Cody was five years old when he almost drowned in a community pool. But a stranger, Jen, who knew CPR, performed mouth-to-mouth -mouth on Cody for over 15 minutes while waiting for an ambulance. She told my family member to dial 911. Um, she just started CPR right away, didn't hesitate, and kept doing it until um, Cody was revived. I feel lucky for my whole life because um, without, without Jen, I wouldn't be here today and I wouldn't have accomplished what I have accomplished. Tuesday, volunteers in Meridian weren't learning mouth-to-mouth, -mouth, but a different technique where only hands are used. That way we can just get the knowledge out there that it's easy and people don't have to be afraid to help people if, they're, if the situation comes about. Although it was mouth-to-mouth -mouth CPR that was used to save Cody's life, Jamie believes that if more people understand that even just your hands can save a life, more people will be willing to learn. Compressions with breaths is the best, um, but American Heart Association has done research to prove that compression only is viable CPR and will save a life. Cody hopes others will take the time to learn to save a life. I wish they would know it and actually take it more serious than they do. The American Heart Association says 92% of cardiac arrest victims in this country die before reaching a hospital, something CPR could prevent. In studio, Lauren Johnson, Fox 9 